Hi, how are you doing? My name is Roger. And we have to talk about COVID. We just have to. Twenty twenty have been a struggle for many people. Many people can't go to their work, meet their families, meet their grandparents or mother and father even. And it has been a struggle for us musicians. Maybe especially for us musicians, because we haven't even been allowed to work. It's not only musicians, of course. Sound engineers, there's light technicians, sound and light companies, catering, venues for concerts and theatres, all kinds of people that works with entertainment or with uh, groups of people in general have struggled during 2020. I'm not saying this because I want some pity or something. I'm saying this because I want you to know. I want you to know that normally I live for work. We musicians, I'm talking about me now, maybe you recognize yourself also, but we don't work so we can take a holiday. We take a holiday so we can work. Probably you have dreamt of winning the lottery and a big amount of money. What would you do? I'm sure you have thought about it. I think everyone has. Most people would say, I think, that they would stop working or work less. They would buy a big summer house or a big boat or a villa in Spain or something like that. I would just buy a bigger studio and more gear so I can work more. And therefore, it's so frustrating that we are not allowed to work. Not be allowed to work is a struggle both economically but also mentally and the worrying that comes with it. When does this end? When can I work again? When can I make some money? If there's a gala or charity of some kind, we musicians nearly always turn up and work for free. It could be for child cancer or starving people somewhere in the world. Now we musicians need help. Especially, we need hope. We need hope that this thing will end, this COVID-19 pandemic will end, and that you are willing to go to concerts and theaters and live music and uh, magic shows and stand-up comedy when this is over. I went out to my city today, first time in ages. The only thing I did was that I walked from one end to the other and back again and I had a Corona safe coffee at a place. My aim was that I was going to ask people what they think they would do when this pandemic is over and if they are looking forward to see concerts and theatres again. But I didn't dare to ask. I was nearly, I was nervous to ask because the whole city seemed depressed. It seems like it was a lid on the mood of every person I saw. So, so I never asked anyone. But what are you looking forward to? Are you looking forward to concerts and theatres when this pandemic is over? It's also this, that when this pandemic is over, let's say, just for an example, that we open up the world um, in 1st of May. 1st of May 2021, we open up the world. We are not going to work in May. We are not going to work in June, probably. Maybe we can work in July because the bookings we get start in May for July or August or September. We are two, three months behind the opening also. Some people say that, well, you can take another job. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I could. I could. I could take a job in a grocery store or at the post office or something like that. Of course, I can. Let's say that I will start to work at a post office. I know nothing of the postal service. I can learn. 
I can probably learn in a few weeks. Turn it around then. Say that the post office person would take my job without knowing anything about music. In 10 years maybe, not a few weeks. I've worked with music full time for 30 years and I still practice every day. <laughs> well, in my mind I practice every day. The truth is I practice only three or four days a week, but I want to practice every day and I need to practice every week at least to keep my skills up. A famous piano player in Sweden said that when you're younger you practice to get better. When you're older you practice not to get worse. A summary of 2020 for me started out as any other year. I had a few gigs, I had actually some composition and arranging assignments which I made. I made some string orchestra arrangements on songs for the church. I uh, also made some arrangements for a couple of choirs. Um, and I had some gigs in the mountains, some off the ski, some uh, piano bar and uh, live gigs with band. The last time I played music with other people was in February. After that, nothing. I've had a few gigs on my own, but not with other people. In February, people have heard about Corona, but no one bothered really. It was something that was far away and couldn't be that dangerous. I went on a holiday. I took a trip first to Doha in Qatar, cool city. And then I went to Thailand for diving especially, which is one of my hobbies, to scuba dive. Of course I ate a lot of good food, met some friends, burnt myself in the sun and had a few singers. My last two nights in Bangkok before I flew back home, they closed nearly all of Bangkok. No bars, no massage places, a lot of restaurants were closed. And I started to worry if I would get home, but there was no problem actually. And I was ready to work. I had just filled up my energy so I could work more. And when I came home, there was nothing. Zero, nada, niente, rien. I had a few gigs on, in the summer on an island called Smögen on the Swedish west coast. That was the only thing I had, had in the summer. Then a couple of gigs in Umeå in Sweden. So let's talk a little bit about our clients, our customers, the people that employ us, the restaurants, the clubs, uh, the theaters, whatever. They now take the opportunity, the chance to lower our salary. And in a way I understand them because, I mean, they don't make as much money as they usually do. But in a way I don't understand it because why are they lowering our salary when they don't lower like electricians, bartenders, the cleaning, whatever. But why is it that you always bargain with musicians and entertainers? I'm eager to work again. It seems like I haven't used 2020. When I think back on it, I hope I can say that 2020 didn't exist. My hope and goal for 2021 is that I hope it's going to be better, that I can start working again as usual, and I hope that we can meet each other as normal again. I will try to make more videos. My goal is that I will do about three videos a month. Please subscribe if you want to check them out. That really helps me and also gives me the confidence of making these videos. If there's some subject or anything you want me to take up in a video, please tell me. You can leave it in the comments down below, you can send a message to me, or I just started a Facebook group, Roger That Music. I will link it down below where we can discuss things together and learn from each other and share experience and share knowledge. Let's put 2020 in the trash bin and together make a better 2021. The Swedish word of today is year. In Swedish, year is år. Or.
And please, go and see live concerts when you can. Follow the restrictions because then this will be over sooner. Take care. Happy New Year. And roger that.